So I'm Elaine Murray and I'm leader of Dumfries and Gallery Council. The council continues to provide critical services right across the region in response to the coronavirus epidemic. We are updating our social media and our website regularly, but we have a new way of communicating with you. We are going to introduce a series of webinars which will be question and answer led sessions on a number of to topics including children and young people, uh, business support, community support and staffing issues. This will be your chance to get answers to the questions which you want to ask. I hope you enjoy taking part in the webinar. By working together we will defeat COVID-19. Thank you for taking part. Hi, I'm Chloe Allison and I'm a youth councillor for Shonara in the Winds. Hi, I'm Finley Bainbridge. I'm a six-year pupil and head boy at Walls Hall. Hello, my name is Alistair Young and I'm an education officer with Dumfries and Galloway Council. My name is Sam Brown. I'm a children and family social worker based in Dumfries. My name is Leona Walk. I'm an education officer with Dumfries and Galloway Council. Hi, I'm uh, Jeff Lever. I'm uh, one of the councillors for Locker Ward, which covers uh, Heathall, Locker Briggs, Summer Park and uh, quite a few of the villages just outside of uh, Dumfries and I chair the uh, Education and Learning Committee on the Council. Why has my child been given no physical resources? My friend's child has had physical resources dropped off at their door by their teacher. Why is there some pupils who have been given a free activity pack but not all? And why is there no authority-wide approach? The main approach schools have been taking in this challenging time has been online digital learning. The main secure platform recommended by Education Scotland is GLOW and every child and young person has been provided with a password. Different children learn in different ways and at different stages, so one approach doesn't suit everyone. Your school will have taken your child's individual needs into account when providing resources and will be taking different approaches in a creative and innovative way. However, if you would prefer some physical resources, hard copies of materials, please contact your school directly to discuss your child's needs. I had my six year cut short due to COVID-19. I've got textbooks that I need to return back to school. Will I be able to return to school to say a proper goodbye to my teachers once it is safe to do so? And will I have the proper leavers experience like so many before me have had? Yeah, it was really disappointing that the, uh, the term ended so abruptly, particularly for uh, uh, people who are leaving school for the uh, final time. And yes, we will organise things so that you can actually come back and say goodbye to your teachers and also to the uh, uh, fellow pupils at the school. Um, I'm sure the schools will be in touch with each individual pupil in due course to arrange something. What is the council doing to help children whose parents do not encourage home learning? Head teachers and teachers are able to monitor levels of pupil engagement through their GLOW usage and activity, and via any other online resources that the school are using. They can also see how children are getting on in any tasks and activities that are set online, and teachers can see what is coming back and the level of engagement that is being shown by the pupils. So in this way they can see where some pupils are not engaging as well as they would like them to or are having any challenges or, or problems. And schools can then contact the pupil via their online communication with their teacher to see how they can help or support. And if necessary, teachers and head teachers can communicate with parents to see if there are any particular issues or challenge that challenges that that family are facing that the school can help with. Schools are able to help and everybody understands how challenging and how difficult it can be trying to maintain all of the other aspects of home and home life and work life and still trying to find time for online learning. So schools want to help. We are there to help and head teachers are happy to contact um, parents to see what they can do to offer any kind of support and also sometimes schools may be able to work with partners to see what can be done to help parents that are finding it particularly challenging. In, in all circumstances we all know that 
things are challenging at the moment. They are difficult for everyone. We're all learning how to do this. And for some families, it may be particularly challenging trying to balance home and life and, and work with trying to make sure that the children are able to do and achieve everything that they would wish to in their online learning. So whatever circumstances you find yourself in, we would recommend contacting your school in the first instance so that the school can be aware of any issues that you are having and can see what they can do to offer help and support. Similarly for children, if they're finding anything difficult or finding it challenging to get the time online to do what is being asked, they should in the first instance contact their teacher via whatever online methods that the school is using to speak to their children. And from there, if good communication exists, everybody should be able to find a good way forward that works for everyone. My child is struggling without teacher input. If each teacher recorded one video, there would be masses of content for children and young people. Could teachers record a YouTube video of them taking a lesson and post it on Glow? We know and we recognise how different it can be for pupils in some aspects of their learning when they don't have the benefit of their teacher there to help them and explain things as they would normally be able to do in a class situation. But in planning their work for pupils, teachers will be taking into account the fact that pupils will be largely having to undertake this learning independently and without the help and support of a teacher there with them. So when they are doing that, the activities that they plan and come up with will hopefully be able to be undertaken by the children without that direct need of support that would normally perhaps be the case if the kids were in class. They'll be doing different activities with that in mind. Each school and class will all be learning about different things and different topics and they'll all be doing that at different levels and in different stages. So it wouldn't be possible to have a one-size-fits-all suite of resources that would be suitable for everyone. But each school will be making suggestions or referring pupils to specific resources that they know would be useful for them or be at the right level or just the right exact thing that they want the children to know about. There's such a wide range out there now that it is important for pupils to take advice from their teacher and from their school in what are the most suitable resources for them to use. My partner and I are working full time with small children and we are struggling to support the kids with the work given from school. Is this okay? Yeah, being a parent is a really difficult task. It's probably the hardest job you'll ever do in your, uh, your life. So don't be uh, uh, hard on yourself. Just do what you can. And remember, there's all sorts of different types of learning. For example, playing Monopoly helps teach maths, baking, and um, helps to teach uh, chemistry, uh, math mathematics, you know, weighing things out. And that probably explains why there's no flour in the shops and hasn't been for the last uh, several weeks. And even watching um, videos like the Blue Planet, that teaches you biology. So just do what you can and don't be too hard on yourselves. How will teachers go about teaching us big parts of the course if we are to be kept in lockdown until half term? This is a concerning time for all. But this is a national issue. And teachers and head teachers are already discussing ways they can deliver coursework. As normal, your school will get in touch with you before the new course courses start from the 1st of June. It is likely that this will be a blended approach, but the final decision about what learning will look like is a national one. By a blended approach, I mean that there may be some opportunities for you to attend school following social distancing measures. And in addition, there will be some extended use of the team approach to provide timetable slots for online lessons. Can children from lower income families, children on a learning plan and children who have a disability gaining access to laptops gain this access to laptops and internet for learning at home? Yeah, if you're struggling to uh, to learn online, get in touch with the council through the, uh, the contact centre and they'll do all they can to uh, facilitate and enable you to, uh, to learn in the way which is best for you. Should I be sticking to a timetable for my child? 
It's not necessary to have a strict timetable, but it is useful to try to find and come to some kind of agreement with your child about a routine that works for you and for them to fit in with everything else that you undoubtedly have to do during this time of lockdown. Build in breaks. It's important that children have good breaks so that they are not feeling overtaxed and not trying to work for too long on the same thing. Have a variety of different activities and make sure that you are able to change and rotate the types of activities that the children do. Some may be being more involved in more movement, others where they may have to sit down quietly for a period of time and concentrate on a task. Take advantage of the weather if you can. For example, if you're able to get outside to do some aspects, all well and good. And some some parts of the work can be done or can be um, adapted to be able to be covered by being outside in the fresh air. And children obviously are all going to enjoy getting out where they possibly can. But where that isn't possible, still try to build in breaks and a variety of different activities. Try to build in some physical activities, perhaps some exercise or some, in, some games and enjoyment. Don't make it all to sitting down in front of a book with a pen or a pencil in your hand. Try to blend that and make sure that it works for you. That's a, an important aspect. Try to get a blend that works for you. Try to make sure that you get the things done that need to be done but punctuate that and pepper that with a variety of different activities so that the children will feel enthusiastic and engaged. The last thing we want is for children to feel that things are so rigid and so um, structured that it switches them off and that they lose interest. We want the kids to be able to enjoy their learning as best in as best a way as possible under the circumstances. So try to vary everything that you do and uh, just try to meet the needs of your own child. You know your own child best, so you do what works for you and for your family. My child has additional support needs and receives support in school from other services. Since schools are closed, I feel isolated and unsupported. Although I accept this is not your fault, what are you doing to help us and other families? If you feel unsupported, contact your allocated worker. That way your child's plan can be reviewed and if necessary additional supports can be put in place. That could be increased contact from your worker, a youth worker being allocated to work with you and your child or your child attending one of the school hubs. I want my child to learn life skills. Where can I get support with this? You can get support for your child or young person to learn life skills via the youth work services or through various online resources which can show you things such as basic cooking recipes, cleaning, using the washing machine and other household tasks as well as things such as money management and CV building. The youth work services also has a range of different resources, activities and tutorials which are available via our online social media platforms or that could be delivered as physical resources. Barclays Bank has an online resource which was for life skills, includes building CVs and money matters. The Royal Bank of Scotland also has a website called Money Sense, which is also about money management and budgeting. And My World of Work is also a useful website for life skills. If you would like further support with this, you can contact the youth work team. Is there any physical activities that my teenager can do at home that doesn't need a computer or an iPad? Yes. There are physical activities that your child or young person can get involved in that doesn't require a computer or internet access. The youth work team can deliver or post out physical resources such as activities um, that we have available to people without internet access. These include different resources and tutorials that, such as the time capsule isolation pack, an activity pack with different puzzles and activities, the Kindness Project, which looks at doing something kind every day, and a Daily Challenge Toolkit, which looks at doing a daily challenge every day for a month. We also have resource packs specifically for young people with additional support needs and for young parents. If you'd like to know more about these resources or would like to request some, please contact the Youth Work team. My child won't do their schoolwork, but they are taking part in other activities online. Can they gain any sort of a qualification for this work? Yes, 
Your child or young person can gain other forms of accreditation by taking part in activities online. The Youth Work Service offers the chance for young people to gain a High Five Award, which is an SCQF Level 2, or a Dynamic Youth Award, which is an SCQF Level 3, by setting themselves challenges based around the activities they're taking part in. The John Muir Award is an outdoor certificate which involves, involves doing different things outside and within nature and can be gained by individuals or as groups such as families. We also have the Duke of Edinburgh Award, which is now available to complete through online methods. The Duke of Edinburgh Award encourages young people to learn life skills and carry out volunteering. There is also the Saltire Award, which is specifically for volunteering. So if your child or young person is volunteering within their local community, they can create a Saltire Award where they can log the hours that they're volunteering and gain certificates for this. If you'd like more information about forms of accreditation, you can contact the Youth Work team. Why am I getting so many phone calls from adults when I didn't before through social work? So our job as your social worker is to make sure that you are happy and safe. So given this is a really stressful time for everybody, we are making more contact with people through telephone, social media and email. If you feel that we've got this wrong and we're contacting you too much, just let us know. If I'm having a really bad day, can we meet up as long as we stay apart? We're being led by government guidance in terms of, of social isolation. So at the moment, we're primarily using telephone calls and social media to keep in touch with people. If the worries for you are really big and it's safe for everybody, then we can see you directly. The important thing is that you are worried that you speak to a trusted adult. Who can help me at the weekends when my social worker is off? So social work help children and young people to develop what's called a safety network. So that's people in your life who you trust, which can be a family member, a friend or a neighbour. So if you're not able to get in touch with your social worker, those are the people that you need to speak to. If you're having an emergency and you can't get in contact with your social worker, you can contact that of our social work in the evenings or at the weekends. Their phone number is 01387 273 660. Yeah, I'd like to take this opportunity just to thank all of our school youngsters for their forbearance and understanding uh, about how difficult it is and, and appreciate that uh, it is a very worrying time for some youngsters and if you do need any support of any sort, for whatever reason, please get in touch with the, uh, the council via the contact centre. And thank you once again.